Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Pijoteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these elegant super dual beads earrings. I'm showing them really easy and step by step and I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. In this way, you won't miss my next upcoming videos and a matching bracelet is coming, so maybe you would want to do this. Also, like, share and comment and you help me so much with these actions and I'm so grateful for this. Share your designs that you did following me on my Facebook page and check description for useful resources and membership link. Okay, now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of super dual beads or you could use twin beads or other brand of these beautiful two hole beads. And here I'm also using 11 seed beads in silver color and just a few Ato beads in silver color. Here I'm using earring findings. I use two jump rings as well. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And you could support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And uh, the membership comes with certain perks that you could see at the link in description. Okay, let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are flat nose pliers. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. So in my first step, what I'm going to do is pick up two black super deuce and one silver 11-0. I'm going to repeat it and I want to have this sequence six times in total. Now I have this 12 black super twos divided two by two with six silver 11 O's. Okay, pause and pick them up. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is to make a knot here. I stick my needle in my mat and I'm making my knot by taking my tail thread and making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and then I'm pulling gently. Now I have this beautiful circle of beads here and what I want to do is go in this direction through these two super doors. Then what I do is that I go back through the empty hole of this super duo. So here I was going in this hole and then I'm going back through its empty hole. With this I'm changing directions, but don't worry, I should change directions. Okay, take two and go through the next super duo here, through its empty hole, through the neighbor empty hole. Then I'm going to take just one super do of this beautiful white color and I pull and I'm going to pick up two purple beads, go in the next super do through its outside empty hole, again white, go in the next one two, go here, and I will continue showing this faster until the end of this row. Uh, if you want, feel free to slow down the video or go back, rewind it and see it from the beginning how I'm showing it.
Okay, guys, and here I am where I just added my last white bead from this row. What I want to do next is go through these two purple beads through their inner hole that is closer to the center, their inner holes. And now I'm going back in this direction through their empty hole. Take two black beads. Go in the next three super duos. Two black beads. And in the next three super duos. Two black beads, next three super duos, and continue this until the end. Okay, now I have this and in my next step I'm going to take a purple, a white and a purple and as I'm exiting here through this purple I'm going back in circle through all of the three beads, okay? Purple, white, purple and go through the purple, white, purple back in circle. So here I have something like a loop between this and this. Okay, then in my next step, I want to go through these two black beads. And then I go back like this through this black one. Okay, then I take two white beads and I go through the next empty hole of my next black. And I pull. Go back, just like this, okay, then I go in the next three, purple, white, purple, and I take these three beads, go back like this. You see, this looks like a kaleidoscopic effect. I like it a lot. Then I will repeat the part where I add white beads. Go like this. Two white beads. Go back through the black one. Then in the next tree and purple, white, purple, go backwards and I will continue these guys until the end of this row, adding purple, white, purple and then two whites here at the blacks. And it's everything is the same so I'm sure you will be able to make it until the end if not just rewind the video and repeat the first three steps here and I'll meet you at this part okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last white bead from this row now what I want to do is to add an additional row but in order to do this I should make some repositioning I want to go through all of those three beads that I added through their inner holes okay this is what I have then I'm changing directions 
I'm going through its outer empty hole then I take one black then I go here one more black I go here then I'm going in these white beads okay and I want to go here in this direction through the empty hole and I'm going to take just one of these beautiful Ato beads I'm adding it here then I go back like this in this direction then through all of the three beads here and backwards through this one one black go in the next one one black go in the next one okay then again in this direction And my goal here is to reach the white beads. Oops, I accidentally went through this one here. So I will go back. And then I go back through this white. Take just one silver and go back then backwards through the whites and through these three beads Then what I want to do is to add again these two black beads one by one. Here is one of them. And here is the other one. And I'll show you one more time how I'm adding the silver one. go backwards through this white just one silver go like this and i will continue these guys until the end you know that you could rewind the video from here and repeat these steps and everything will be okay and meet me here and here i am guys where i just added my last silver bead from this row you see i'm exiting out of this hole i just added it in the same way like i did before now what i want to do is to add an additional row okay and in order to do this i want to reach here the inner hole of this black bead you see i'm not going through the purple only through the inner hole of the black one just reposition your thread to to reach here and then i go back through the empty hole of the same black bead and i, I take a silver and an 8 silver and an 11 silver so this is what i have And I go back like this. This is the additional step that I'm going to be doing in this row. Okay. 
I will continue in this direction. Okay, and now I reached this black one. I go back like this. 11 -0, 8 -0, 11 -0. Go through this black one. Okay. Then the familiar steps of reaching here. Okay guys, and now what I want to do is again 11-0, 8-0, and I go back. Okay, and I'm gonna finish this row the same way and I'll meet you here. And here I am guys at my last step where I need to add my last 11-0, 8-0 and 11-0. And what I want to do next is to find a place to make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, let's say I'll make it here at this angle. And how I'm making it. I make here a loop. And I go once. And I go second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull and then I go in the following seed bead and I cut my thread. Okay, then I need one more step to go. I'm taking this jump ring I open this one up and I want to put it here where my 8 bead is. Then I'm going to take my earring finding and I squeeze back in the same direction where I opened it. Okay, I'm pushing this like that. And now my elegant super do earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my elegant super do earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, also a matching bracelet that is coming soon, it is a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And in this way you won't miss my next upcoming videos. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. You could also check the description for a full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to my Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, also a link to the membership option where you could support me at, and get some beautiful perks around here. Okay, so that was all from me. Click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching. Bye bye from me.